Hello, and this is just a quick walkthrough on how to check out on the Dog Treats website. So we've added an item to our shopping basket, and we're now going to check out. There are two payment methods uh, to choose from, uh, and you would you would uh, select either the PayPal method or the proceed to check out. If you have previously already checked out, then you'll know that you could have created an account during your checking out process and you would have had an account that you can log back into and and that is purely for you to uh, log in and check previous orders and so forth so assuming that you've never checked out before and you're this is the first time you would select paypal for example and you're going to see a blank screen at the moment just for privacy purposes but i'm um, believe me i'm logging into my paypal account and i'm going to then select the funds that I'd like to pay uh, with within my PayPal account and having selected those I'm then returned back to the website. So having come back to the website my details have been collected from my PayPal account and I'm just going to continue now. As I say if this is your first time and you wish to create an account then you would just simply tick that button there and continue but as I have already created an account then I'm just clicking uh, continue. There are my address details that I haven't had to input because they've been brought in from my PayPal account. Again, I'll click continue and I'm on the final, final page now where I just check everything and place the order. I'm not going to place the order on this occasion because I'm just showing you how the checkout flow works using PayPal. If your order was over £50 and you'd selected the free shipping, you would not have seen the free shipping during the during the PayPal logging in section, and you probably may see the £3.70. But when you do return to the website, uh, you will see again the free shipping here, and you would simply check that before placing your order. So the free shipping is still available even if you don't see it during the PayPal checkout. So I'm just going to cancel that now. I'm just going to quickly show you that the other option was uh, proceeding to check out via this method which would allow you then to select the stripe payment method so here i'm just going to pre-populate my details uh, from my my browser and don't need to check that as i just explained click the continue and confirm I'm not delivering to a different address, but if should you wish to deliver to a different address, then you would tick this box here and, and, and complete. And then you would just uh, go to the continue box and enter change from PayPal to Stripe, enter your card details and click place order. And that's it. That's that's as simple as it gets. The logging in section, again, I'll just just clarify that that would really be um, if you had previously checked out and you would have created an account during the checking out process on that occasion. So I hope that's made things uh, clear. And if you've got any questions, then give me a call on 01827 714 753. Great.